scientists say that the cranial capacity of a woman is 10% smaller than that of a man. So now this shows that she's just not equipped for the role of headship. Her role is one of subjection to the man. Her role is that of submissiveness, and that means that she should recognize that she is a woman and be glad to be one. Never want to be what you are not equipped to be. But we'll hear a sister say, oh, in fine words, an elder, I show them a thing or two. Or sometimes we hear them say, oh, if I were a man, I'd do this and I'd do that. As if to be wishing to be something that you've not desired to be. Do you know what that borders on? That borders on homosexuality. And you know what the devil is doing nowadays? He's teaching women who want to be men. He makes men out of them. And you know what else he's doing? He's taking men who want to be women. And he's making women out of them. And it's crazy. It's not a little thing. But homosexuality is something that is crazy. And it's all over the earth. It's not just here, in San Francisco and Oakland. But it's everywhere. But it all begins with the thought. Somewhere, individuals have wanted to be what they are not designed to be. And they've nurtured that. So never voice the thought of wanting to be what you're not cut out to be. Be glad to be what you are, woman. Your role in the earth is a beautiful role that Jehovah God has placed you in. But now what does it mean to love your husband? Now we know that all you sisters present this evening love your husband. Or at least you want to love your husband. But now what does it mean to love your husband? Well, you should cooperate with him. That's what it means. You should cooperate but never compete. You would recognize if you truly love your husband that you're not equipped mentally, emotionally, and physically or somatically for the role of competition. You would never pit your mind against it. Not if you truly love your mentor. Or you might recognize that you're quicker at mind than he is. Oftentimes this is the case. A boy marries a girl. He finds out that girl is smarter than boy. Shortly after marriage, she finds out that she's 